to the black girl that drive the white challenger in Houston, Texas that was around Pudgy's Fire Cookies around 2.45 p.m. today on Sunday, April 14th, that got into it with me over a parking spot. If that was you, hit me up. I want to talk to you about something. To the black that don't sound like she want to fight. It sound like she trying to get them scissors out the everything drawer. <laughs> Bro, she trying to get that vacuum clean out the closet. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> I hope she found her. What are the things you do now that you feel like will make you a good wife? I cook, I clean. I do everything a woman needs to do. I cook, I clean. I do everything a woman needs to do that they're supposed to do. Okay. That's what I do. Take notes. Give them and I got a job, and I got money, and I don't need niggas for money. Okay. Okay, and that's it. That's it. What are things you do? First off, let's go ahead and clap it up for this beautiful black sister. Okay. Now she says she cooks, she clean. Last time he interviewed a young lady, she bought up mac and cheese. Now you know you can't play about mac and cheese. In this situation, if this young lady right here had bought up mac and cheese, I would have agreed and said, I feel as though she could make mac and cheese. The reason why is, first off, you see the fupa, okay? <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with the fupa. But also, this is very important, check out the, the meat around the armpit area. Now, I'm not insulting you. I'm not trying to insult you. But she have pre-big mama arms. She have pre-big mama arms. That means that she not fat. She not fat. But she have, she have cooking arms. That's not to say that the slender young lady can't cook. I'm not saying that. But... It's certain things you look for when a young lady mentions the kitchen. And that arm fat ratio around the armpit area, that is a telltale sign of somebody who be in the kitchen. And a fupa. Trying on the new $12,000 Balenciaga Panta shoes. So as you guys can see, these are pants and also shoes at the same time. So they're made out of calfskin leather and they have all of this like motocross sportswear detailing going all throughout the pants. Like these... Paying $12,000 to look like a Power Ranger. <laughs> it is diabolical behavior. These pants are freaking crazy, you guys. And did I also I know. mention they're $12,000? But I guess you are getting bang for your buck. Because when you think about it, you are getting pants and shoes. The two-for-one special. But you guys, let me know what you think. Are they a drip or skip down below in the comments? And also, would you pay $12,000 for them? So it's a pants coming with a shoe. What's going to happen if you visit somebody's house and they say, oh, can you take your shoes off at the door? But you got to take your whole pants off, walk through their house butt-ass naked? Well, not butt-ass. Hopefully you got some drawers under there. But at the same time, shoot, if I'm paying $12,000 for a pair of pants, I'm probably not going to wear no drawers underneath. You feel what I'm saying? It better come with its own self-cooling system. Just a few months ago, I was actually set up by an online vig vigilante called Predator Poachers, who posed as a 13-year-old boy that wanted to meet for sex and bondage play learning. The worst part about this is that I literally drove an hour just to be told that there wasn't really a 13-year-old boy, and I was confronted by a big scary white man with chat logs and several cameras in my face. To say the least, as a gay man, I was scared for my life. And shortly, he started reading the chats, attempting to incriminate me. But here's the thing. I was never going to have sex with him. I was talking about sexual education. Oh, no. 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 No way. No way. Oh, my back. Yo. I sent a picture of my fully oiled up erect shaft. Oh, you going to jail. Boy, stop! You ain't doing that! So nasty self. Just a few months ago. Bro, he really went in front of those people and tried to play the victim? 
for trying to meet up with a 13-year-old boy after sending pictures of his Johnson? I don't know what to say. Man, you know what? When they when they take you to the big house, you're going to be able to teach all the sexual education you want. Okay? Them folks is really fighting. Homie in the blue is actually trying to whoop this man ass. Honestly, the I'd probably try to whoop his ass too. Even though my boy don't got no legs, he he kind of dangerous. Like, first off, I want to say that I respect you. I respect you for getting in that ring despite your disability. I want to tread lightly because it's some it's something coming to my mind right now. But I don't know how it will be accepted if I say it. Why'd you get it out? What is it? Whoa, what is it in your pocket? What is it, though? A snake? No, it's not. You do not have a snake in your pocket. She got a fake snake in her pocket. I do. Is it alive? Yeah. It's not alive. It's not even a snake. Stop. Are you kidding me? Where'd you get this? I don't see none. Pull it out. Pull it out. Okay, I'll try. Take off the glove. If she really have a snake in her pocket, why would she take off the glove? Oh my gosh, where did you get this? It's alive? They start early. They start early. They start early. White folks. White folks, y'all don't even wait till puberty. Y'all don't even wait till puberty. The fearlessness starts early. Jesus Christ, why is she walking around with a snake in her pocket? <sighs> is it me or... <laughs> Fellas. Oh, she whooping her ass. Oh my! It's it's two fights going on in that ring. Her whooping shorty ass, and her cheeks and them goddamn leggings. Wow! <laughs> yeah, whoever sent me this. Shout out to you, my brother. <laughs> Shout out to you. Who should a guy last? If it's one round, 30 to 60 minutes. Mira, oh, honey. <laughs> Adulthood is so disappointing. <laughs> oh, you're like, oh, I can't wait to be an adult when you're a kid. And then you become one and you're like, damn. Bills, responsibilities, oh, this shit sucks. <laughs> there you go. Play movies. Movies make it seem like it lasts ages. Ages. Seasons. The first round is, is 30 to 60 seconds. If maybe two to three minutes tops. I'm not even mad at the men. Both of our knees aren't great. <laughs> Finish and go right back into watching our episode. <laughs> That's why they call it Netflix and chill. <laughs> you do get a second round. Ten minutes tops. Tops. And the faces are quite embarrassing. On both ends. <laughs> Fast ladies, ladies, in your 30s and 40s, we're not just ready to go. The men think, you know, they flick a nipple or they just get on top and it's like, you ready? No, I'm still mad you didn't take out the trash. <laughs> <laughs>
Let me tell y'all something, bro. Once you get older, sex start before the bedroom, bro. Being married, you learned a lot. You learned that if you want some at the end of the day, you gotta preheat the oven before you put the chicken in there. It might not make sense to the younger to the younger folks, but people my age and up, y'all know what I'm talking about. And then this whole 30 to 60 minutes, dog. Sex don't gotta be long for it to be good. Ladies, you take a exhilarating five minutes than a mediocre 30 minutes any day. Hey, calling me to do my brother's hair for his funeral. I never thought I'd be doing this, but when I got around him, I felt nothing but peace. My brother always told me to just do it, so that's what I'm doing. I prayed and prayed and prayed. Like, you really chose me. I arrived at the funeral home and had to take his hair down. He still had the same exact style, and his hair was so long. I took the other braids down and gave him some pop smokes because that was one of his favorite styles as well. And something a little bit easier for me. And I added his favorite color beads back in his hair. It came out so well. I know he's proud of me. I also took two pieces of hair to add to my mom's locks. I love you, brother. Happy birthday. None of this would have been possible without the help of the Lord. Mm. Losing a family member is one thing. But the amount of strength it'll take to have to do their hair or have to do their makeup to prepare them for that funeral, that takes a different level of strength, especially if it's somebody that you grew up with. So shout out to that sister. All right, a gal asked, how can she surprise her man? Uh, initiate, no. <laughs> initiate for the first time, no. <laughs> um, try just using your hands. So think that kind of job and maybe in the car, that's a fun little surprise. Or you can get an outfit, you know, like a nurse, a maid, a flight attendant and surprise him with that. Also, a spicy text. Bring a friend. That's a surprise. Or video in the middle of the day it goes a long way. When all else fails, a good old-fashioned mouth hug. Mm. All right, a gal asked, how can she... A good old-fashioned mouth hug. No, but the first thing she said was she said initiate. That goes a long way. Remember last video I was talking about pillow princesses, man. It's a lot of y'all that be pillow princesses out here, man. Hmm. I might ruffle some feathers with this. Some of y'all sex appeal is trash. You think because you got a fat ass and some big titties, that's it. No. You got to create an experience. Especially if you and your partner been together for a while. Now you have to really work on creating experiences. Because I've been clapping the same cheeks for years. You've been getting the same meat for years. Now it's time for us to try new things. Now, now we ain't going too far with trying new things. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all ladies thinking the experience is, is trying to enter your man's back door. That ain't, that ain't no experience. I don't know who you been talking to, but that ain't no experience. Sometimes y'all be talking too much. You be talking so much, you spoiling the mood. Like, sh sometimes sh shut the f*** up. If I'm being completely honest, majority of ladies are selfish. 